and welcome to the Virtual Art Corner. Today what we're going to do is we're going to make some scratch art with using a paper plate. Let's go have some fun. So today you'll need a paper plate, some oil pastels, something round to trace, a toothpick, a paintbrush, and of course some acrylic paint. Uh, I'm using black. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to start by coloring using the oil pastels. We're going to color the paper plate. I want to make mine look kind of like a, a tie-dye effect. In order to do that, then what I'm doing is I'm coloring from the inside of my paper plate out to the outside. So I'm always going to color from the outside of the plate to the inside of the plate. And I'm gonna to continue to turn the plate round and around while I color um, from the inside to the outside. If I color from left to right or from side to side, I'm gonna lose that tie-dye effect uh, for my paper plate. Now, if you didn't want one, then it doesn't really matter. But if you are trying to stick with the tie-dye effect, it is important that you color from the inside to the outside of your paper plate. It's also important that you overlap your colors as well. Uh, also use bright colors. Don't use black. Don't use dark colors. Try and use real bright colors in order to, uh, in order to make sure that your, that your colors kind of stick out for the scratch part of this. Now, when you get to the edge of the paper plate, it's going to be hard to color. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do the scratch art part of it anyway for that, so I'm going to go ahead and just not color them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint my paper plate right over the top of it. I'm going to paint the whole thing black. So I just have to cover the whole everything that I've colored and even the outside around the, the edge of the paper plate. I want to go ahead and, and paint that all black. In order for this to work, you need to make sure that that is uh, thick enough in order to coat the oil pastel, but not too thick because then it will you'll have trouble with it drying. So make sure you don't use too much acrylic paint, otherwise you're going to end up with kind of a filmy sort of thing on it. Uh, the next thing that you need to do is wait for it to dry after you finish painting it. Uh, you need to give it at least a couple of hours in order to to completely and totally dry. Okay, I've done that. Now I'm gonna use my circle tracer and my toothpick and I'm gonna trace around my circle and I'm going to then have a circle in the middle of my paper plate. This is gonna be the center of a flower. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the decorations for the inside of the flower. I'm gonna use circles, but you can use whatever you like if you wanted to use little lines or whatever it is that you'd like. You can go ahead and do that. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add petals to my to mine and I, it's just like drawing with a pencil. The only problem is is that if you mess up on this there's no erasing. You can't undo it. So uh, go ahead and and think about what you want to do and plan it once you have it done. Uh, this is super fun in order to just make kind of a cool sort of design on your paper plates. Um, you uh, can go ahead and add as many petals as you like. You can go ahead and, and do pretty much anything that you want. Uh, I was, I, since I'm working on a paper plate, I wanted to make the design round, so that's where I got the flower from. But really, you could make any sort of design that you would like. You could even use a random Zen Tango pattern if you would like to, in order to, to do your pattern as well. This is really fun. <clears throat> this is really fun when you are... Um, looking for something to just kind of zone out in and kind of um, add some designs and, and some color to your life. I hope you had a great time. I'll see you again soon.